Welcome back to Star Fox 64. Today we're starting the medium route, and that does not start at Corneria, it actually starts in Meteos. You remember this area with these weird rings, which you fly through, you start spinning around and start going really fast. When you go through one ring, you need to immediately start going to the other side of the screen, otherwise you're gonna miss them. Whoa. But when you get through all of them... Whoa! You go into a warp. Hot diggity, boy! The Gray Fox went too. Yeah. Go! Welcome to the Acid Zone. I'm going! I'm going! I guess... This area is just loaded with things for you to destroy. You need 200 to get the medal for Meteos, and this is the easiest place to do that. Uh, you might have noticed I didn't have Falco with me once again, so I'm not gonna get it here, but I will get it off-screen at a later date. 64. <laughs> you get loaded full of bombs when you go through here, if you aim the somersault correctly. And also just going through here. There's just so much stuff, and they encourage you to just throw bombs around, rack up as many points as you want. This is as arcadey as the game really gets. Playing Galaga here. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Everything. <laughs> I can see the past, the future. I like to imagine Fox is shooting at nothing here and everybody's really worried. <laughs> Well, but they don't say anything. You are in silence. This is this game's version of the black hole and the out of this dimension little side areas from the first Star Fox. Oh my god, so many power-ups. Oh, are you low on bombs? This arrow will take care of it. <laughs> There's nothing quite as weird as flying into a bird and then fighting a slot machine as the boss. Yeah, and one that goes on forever. Yeah. You can't escape. You can't escape out of this dimension, but the warp levels, of which there are two, they take you to different levels. Fox, what happened? Fox! Whoa. Fox, can you hear me? I, 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 yeah, yeah, I was fighting a guy named Link, and there was a Mario, and there was a... There was a Mario? Are you babbling, man? <laughs> yeah, he had like a red hat, and then I, and then I'm gonna have a Star Fox Adventures. I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually did have a stroke. Affirmative, General. I was going anyway. <laughs> Okie dokie, artichokey, and I think I lost my soul just now. Help is on the way. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> it's Bill. And I'm Bill. Oops. <laughs> the mission just started. <laughs> hey, Bill, I haven't seen you since college. Fox, Jesus Christ, that was my best friend. But I thought I was your best friend. But this is cool. Bill and Fox were in the Cornarian Army Academy together, like, what, and they were teens or whatever. And this is where you meet up with him. Mm-hmm. Slippy says, it's hard to tell the good guys from the bad, like that's true. <laughs> it's very clear. The regular enemies are very dark. You don't see their engines behind them. They basically just look like flying saucers. You can kill as many of the Cornarian army as you want. It doesn't count against you. <laughs> Although, if you manage to do that without killing any of the Cornarian army, you get different dialogue when the level's over. I didn't manage that, so... <laughs> it was like, well, you killed Steve, but you know what? You did a good job. Well, you're a psychopath, Fox. But goddammit, you're a great shot. I know. Enemy mothership approaching. Enemy motherfucker approaching. I like that Bill's got kind of a surfer dude voice. <laughs> he does? Don't let anything I do like that the little lore with Bill and Fox that, yes, they were in the Academy, the Quinarian Academy together. That was uh, shortly before Fox's dad passed, and uh, before Fox decides to actually literally drop out of Academy to restart Star Fox on his own. Hey, he was mine. So a Spybot, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Remember that? Remember Spybot? Huh? This is... An Independence Day reference, right? Yep. Yes, sir. Straight up. 
So that wasn't that many enemies. But once the UFO gets over the base, there'll be enemies. Lots and lots of enemies. Here they come. The annoying thing, when you do the charge laser and hit one of the enemies with it, it still has a chance to blow up one of the Cornarian soldiers. Which is dumb. I also like the implication that the Cornerian army is only full of dogs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I thought I thought Bill was a rat. No, he's a he's a dog. He's, he's a husky. He's a dog. I think. It looks like he's got little rat ears though. They're flopped forward. I think he looks like a rat. I know he's not a rat, but he looks like one. He's he? a rat terrier then. Fine, Jacob. <laughs> All right. Hey, it, it's it's space. There, you can have a lot of combinations of weird <laughs> animals. All right, fuck. <laughs> hey, it looks like a goddamn rat. Uh, uh, I like killing, but okay, fine. Let's take on the core. I could do it. I'll do the Independence Day thing. Yeah, I'll fly right into it. That didn't work. Yeehaw, motherfucker! Or... It didn't. Looks like it's going down. It's flipping upside down. Oh. You did that. Get out of here now. He's already gone. All aircraft break away. Not the military, though. You just stay here and die. All aircraft, we're breaking up. <laughs> this just isn't working out. <laughs> Come on, Bill. And much like my academy education, it's blown to pieces. Mission complete! Wow. We killed all those Cornarian guys. Yeah, we did it! Mission complete! Love how everyone, no one talks to each other after that. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> 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 That sucked. I guess Bill's dead. <laughs> oh, that's all you have to say after all the. Dang. Rats. <laughs> Rat terrier, Fox. <laughs> all right. Anyway, heading back to Sector X because of that alternate route that I mentioned. There's a reason that I skipped it. It's because something special happens if you come here from Katina. That one enemy always kills itself. <laughs> it just hits the wall. I'm gonna miss Bill the Ratatouille. <laughs> he was delicious. I found the gate. Looks like a warp. Another warp, you say? Ooh. Oh! Oh man, you're a Ooh. fucking pro. Bill, you say? <laughs> Bill! <laughs> you're okay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Internally, not really. <laughs> So on this path, there are these four gates which you need to shoot open. If you pass through all four of them, we go to another warp zone. It is very difficult to do this without Bill, so that's why I waited until he showed up. Oh, night. Oh, Bill, 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 Bill. Thank God. Bill and I, the fucking rat. And you can't just landmaster it again and just smash through the gate. You need to break it open for it to count. Stop shooting okay, me. There's... Bye, buddy. <laughs> there's no way you can actually hear that in communication. Hey, fuck! It'd be cool if there if you could, like, Sonic and Sega All-Stars racing it and go from, like, R-Wing to fucking Landmaster on command. I think you mean on Assault. Yeah! Because <laughs> hey. you can't do that in that game. Oh! Yeah. Well, thanks for spoiling it! No, I'm kidding. Oh, and Jacob die. What do you want? Jesus. <laughs> then, then, wow, you're upset about spoilers? Why don't you die? <laughs> then expire. We, we <laughs> expire. We invite you to these things and all you have to say is be a negative Nancy, I see. Look at that. <laughs> I'm fighting actual glitches. X. I'm not religious, sorry. Religious glitches.
Do you guys think I can taste the color yellow? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can taste it. it tastes kind of like blue. <laughs> Phil, you're here in the afterlife too much. Sure. I died. <laughs> What'd you expect? Uh, well, I mean, what, what about all those little Cornerian guys I shot that? I mean, that died when the ship shot the laser. They died. Oh, the squares. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I'm not a fan of PlayStation. You're making me freaking nervous. Fox, it happened again. You need to lay it off. Stay away from those rings. You got it, Mom. Mom. <laughs> That's all right, Mama. That's all <laughs> right with me. <laughs> so that actually warps you all the way to the hard route. Whoa. But let's actually fight the UFO this time. <laughs> huh. With this Independence Day reference, I, I, I just wish that Bill's name was Will. Will Smith was in that movie, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure I wasn't a complete idiot. Here they come. I doubt he's a reference to Will Smith. Uh, me too. My assumption is they called him Bill because they were like, oh, fuck it, I don't know. I uh, call him Bill. Fucking Bill. Now I am going to take my time because I do want to get the medal, and that does require letting the hatches open and letting more enemies pour in. If you shoot the hatches, you do get a bonus. But leave a couple open so you can get more kills. I suppose one thing you could do, you could get the medal, and then you could replay the level and just not kill anything until the UFO shows up. I think it's also possible to accidentally shoot down Bill. <laughs> Might be. Yeah, I, I, I can kind of hear the surfer didage in him. Step by to attack! Ah, Falco's one of his most famous lines. He says that so many times, how many of these guys have you pissed off? I pissed off the entire galaxy, Fox. I used to have a gang called Star Falco. Oh my god, his accent was full force in that. You did it! Oh, landed on my cousin. <laughs> oh no! His name was Will. <laughs> <laughs> Birth from my Uncle Grill. And my Aunt Jill. But not my grandpa, he was a shill. There's no one else in my family with ill. You too, I don't feel like doing the ellipses, Bill. <laughs> you too, finger quotes, Bill. If that even is your real name. Alright, now let's fly into the sun. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> this is Falco. <laughs> Finally. It's about time. Ah, my home planet. That area's an oven. Don't go burning that R wing. Be reasonable. So they're not really consistent over whether Solar is a sun or if it's just a molten planet. <laughs> it's called Solar. Yeah, but like in later games they keep flip flopping on it. Man, Fal Falco, your home planet is goddamn terrible. I don't actually live here, it was a joke. So, immediately raise altitude up to the top of the screen, because the closer you are to the lava, the more damage you take. This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Clearly not. <laughs> well, damn it, I'm, my, my readings are showing this is 9,002 degrees. We're screwed, <laughs> Slippy. <laughs> two, two degrees doesn't make that much of a difference. Right? Tell that to my health bar. 
Tails has to run the plate and help, Marcus. Fox keeps shooting me. It does make a difference, Peppy. It does. <laughs> but hey, Bill shows up and he drops some bombs for me. Bill, you dumbass. You went right. Oh, he's fine. That's awesome. He's just sticking around. I never hear anybody talk about Bill. Watch yourself, Fox. I'm done. That's all I can do. Well, that's pretty much why. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he just shows up for like a few seconds. Like, hey, Fox. Hey. Good job and stuff. Hey, Fox, I just came here to say goodbye. After we say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Bill. Even though for as long as I've known you, I've never understood a single word you've ever said to me. <laughs> I love you did shoot the power-up box. Oh, that's just two or three friends. <laughs> I like Roblox, too. What the hell did he say to you? <laughs> And you get a lot of rings in this level. Yeah, because you're constantly taking health damage. Also, you get silver stars, which I think are like a full heal. Yeah. This baby could take 9,000. Okay, I lied. <laughs> well, you lied about that. What else have you lied about the R wing? I planted a bomb in yours, Fox. Well, <laughs> someone's getting fired. Fire you safe, falls the lava. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> so remember, the rocks also count as enemies. Because why the hell not? Yeah, might as well. Are the times Rob64 gives you power-ups scripted, or are they based on, like, how you're performing? They're scripted. Yeah, because he gives you a lot in this level. No, you really need them, though. Yeah, I know. I died plenty here. Oh boy, swarm. Ooh. I like that there is life on Solar. I don't know if, if they're also bioweapons made by Andros. But I know this one is. This is I love this boss. He was so much fun. He's pretty cool. He is also hard to dodge. <laughs> Man, Andros is a douchebag for making this. <laughs> a douchebag. <laughs> you gotta get that real like gutturalness on, on when you when you pronounce the U like douchebag, douchebag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, the fiery scyther. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would actually be pretty sweet. Mega scyther. But uh, Caesar is good too. I'm gonna keep shooting you. It's all, oh. oh god! Hot blood. Check it and see. Uh, uh, I, I don't. It's throwing marbles at me. I don't want. Ah, oh, you're so close. That was close. I, I might as well show off what his other attacks are. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hit him. Then I, I noticed watching the footage. I'm aiming just above his head. Can you imagine if he recovered health if he went down? <laughs> oh, this is gonna suck. You had to use the boost. Yippee! So you could fly into it faster? I thought you could fly over it if you used the boost. You fly over it anyway, it's just, it's hot. Oh. Well. Alright, we... Why did we come here? Why did... You could have flown around it. All aircraft report. I'm a complicated man. I mean, they don't go too clearly into why you go to each level, but there was one of Andros' bioweapons here. That's what that was. Yeah, that's probably one. We're not killing the local wildlife. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to go on a hunt real quick? I'm hungry. Uh, because this fox wants some blood. Blood that burns. <sighs> Makes it spicy. That's the sound of spicy to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, mwah. The spice of the blood. But next time, we will be returning to the Landmaster for a pretty fun level. One could say it's the master of the land. Ooh. Well, you could just get in the R-Wing and fly them. You could. And they say the R-Wing is the wing of the R. Actually, I think the next level makes more sense for the Landmaster. I'll explain why when we get to it. I'm ready for that Jacob explanation that I'm holding him to. <laughs> Here we go. 
And the reason why is... Hopefully we'll find out, because that's going to be a later recording session. <laughs> yeah, we're also not going to end... You're not going to end the episode there, just to spite you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jacob, I'll let you have it. Do it again. I don't believe you. That's where we're ending it. <laughs> <laughs>